So it does help in academics, in coping with stress in every way it helps you. And the other thing is, uh, if you're not enlightened, it's not worth living up. The unenlightened person can better go. <laughs> he's a burden on this planet, he's a burden to himself, he's a burden to everybody. He's not living up. See, if you're not enlightened, thought is flowing all the time. The past is flowing through the present into the future. What is there is only the past. The future isn't there, only the past is flowing. And the past is dead. It's like dead matter, like most of the food that you eat is dead food that you eat, you know. Most people do not know what to eat and how to eat. If you give you real food, you run away from the place. So what you eat is just dead food. Similarly, these thoughts are dead matter, no? You are dead actually. You don't even know that you are dead. That is your lives. There's no joy in your life. There's only pleasure in your lives. Only when you become enlightened, you know, ah, this is what it is to live. This is paradise. You are searching for paradise. Sir. You are in heaven now. And you are saying it is hell. So you have to become enlightened. Leave alone other things, sir. If you're not going to be enlightened, what is the use of your living? Uh? If you're not going to be a Buddha or a Mahavira or a Krishna or a Ramana, or a, what is the use of your lives? Just going to Dubai and making all that money? Well, that's necessary. Right? But what is there to your lives? I don't see any difference between you and a garden lizard. <laughs> that is the condition. <laughs>